What's up, guys? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, so this weekend, I'm doing a little bit of a mini video series uh, where I'll be checking out some beers from one of Trader Joe's generic generic lines of beer. Uh, these are going to be beers under the Joseph Sprout banner, one of several lines they use for uh, the varying styles of beer that they uh, have made for for their generic beer beer line there at Trader Joe's. Um, the beers are relatively cheap. I think I paid uh, like a buck seventeen for um, individual singles. Normally, for most craft beers, I'm usually paying usually two to three dollars for individual bottles. A few, a little bit less, a few a little bit more, but the two or three dollar range is is typical. And um, these these beers are made by a handful of breweries of note, um, including Goose Island Shipyard. My research said that uh, Firestone Walker even used to do one of their beer lines, so I, apparently that contract has uh, now expired. Um, the beers we're going to be trying today are all made by the Gordon Biersch Brewing Company, a uh, San Jose, California-based brewery and brew pub chain. Uh, if you live in a major metropolitan area, especially seemingly in the west of the Mississippi River, um, fair chance you have one of these, play one of these uh, brew pubs in your area. So we'll be checking out uh, two of their beers in today's video review and then be doing two more tomorrow. So let's get to it. Okay, first beer up from Joseph Sproul is their Pilsner Czech style lager. Uh, notes from them on the bottle. Joseph Sproul Pilsner is a celebration of noble hops from Central Europe. This style of beer was developed by German brewmaster Joseph Grohl in 1840 in the town of Pilsen, Bohemia, uh, modern-day Czech Republic, and was the first beer to be brewed golden and clear. This beer's pinpoint fine bitterness is perfectly accentuated by its crisp body. ABV 5%, 32 IBUs. And it's just worth knowing, noting that uh, they even put, it'll probably be hard to see in the camera, but you see, I kind of see the type there at the very bottom. They actually do a, a best consumed before date. Looks like they give it Probably six months if I had to guess. It says uh, 02, 15, 17, which would be just about three months from now. Presuming it was produced some time ago, I guess a uh, guess a six month shelf life. But there's some craft brewers that don't even give you a uh, a brewed on or best before date, so that's kind of neat. So let's check it out. The last little bit of it there. You can see good couple fingers of head there. And um, as they say, yellow and crystal clear. Uh, mild amount of carbonation shooting up through the glass. Um, but pretty much what you would expect a uh, Pilsner to look like. Yellow to gold. Fluffy head. Let's go ahead and check it out. Mm. Plenty of arom aromatics going on, a whole lot of spice, a whole lot of earthiness. A little bit of, of floral as well, and maybe just a, a hint of sweet biscuit note. Yeah, like a... a, a uh, a, bi a biscuity note that's a little bit sweet as well, in addition to a, a whole lot of earthiness. Decent hop bite coming through on the uh, on the very back end of the drink, drinking experience rather. Hmm. Um, again, just a little bit. It uh, kind of just has that that beer tastes like beer, if you will, but um. A lot more going on as well. It's a little bit, a little bit floral and a little bit sweet out front at the very beginning, and then it gets a whole lot more earthy in the in the middle, earthy and spicy, and then the very end again you start getting the the hot bite. Mm. 
the the front half of that's really really nice. The back half of it is um, almost a little jarring bite wise. It doesn't. I mean, I've had plenty of of strong strong hopped beers, but uh, there's just kind of something that rubs rubs me the wrong way with it. Yeah, it's just, it's really strong, really in your face, and it just, I get that's part of Pilsner's, but it just doesn't really jive with uh, everything else that's going on. It's just really harsh. Everything else is fairly light, fairly mild, fairly delicate, but the hops are then just like, like right, right here, like screaming in your face, and um, that's not great, but um. Again, parts of it I'm really enjoying, and that is the uh, Joseph Sproul Pilsner Czech Style Lager. So let's go ahead and check out the next beer. All right, guys, I got the second beer. This is Joseph Sproul Bohemian Style Lager. I'm again from the bottle. Bohemia is a lush region in the southwest corner of the Czech Republic that is rich in brewing tradition. The Bohemians were pioneers in brewing their beers clear and golden, using bottom fermented lager yeast. Joseph's Brow Bohemian Style Lager is brewed using the finest imported Pilsner malted barley and aroma hops, resulting in a wonderfully refreshing beer. Again, 5% alcohol by volume, 18 IBU. Let's check it out. All right, pretty similar color. Maybe a, a hair darker, but um, I think they're really, that and the this and the Pilsner rather are, are really pretty close in terms of some form of yellow. This one's maybe pushing into the gold range a little bit. Uh, you see very little head, and um, I maybe poured the Pilsner a little bit more violently, but. Uh, I don't think it was that big of a difference. Not a lot of carbonation inside inside the glass. Uh, very few bubble, bubbles shooting up. But, um, yeah, again, color pretty similar to the previous beer. Let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. Nice and simple. Um, tasty. Some nice aromatic notes going on. Yeah, nice, uh, I'm kind of, I'm making an equivalent to say like a, uh, Yingling lager, but there's more to it going on than I think, uh, what, what Yingling brings. A little bit of maltiness, um, a, a, bis a dry biscuit note, and uh, again, it, it's uh, pretty clean and crisp uh, coming off the drinking experience. Just a nice solid beer, I think is probably the the best thing to say about it. There's not, not a ton going on, but I think it'd be good on a nice hot day. It's refreshing. And again, a uh, nice crisp and clean finish, dry finish. Just a real solid lager. Um, again, not, not a not a ton going on flavor wise, but it seems to be really well executed and um, really delightful. Really, really nice. Really, really nice lager. So that was the uh, Joseph Sproul Bohemian style lager, and that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, coming up tomorrow, we'll be checking out two more Joseph Brow beers, including their winter seasonal. Uh, you can find all of our reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. You can also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description below. If you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.